Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zaria, if you don't know me. In today's video, I'm just going to be installing this wig. And I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about just getting your first wig. Just kind of like recommendations that I have, tips, pointers that I have. That can help anyone who's like getting into the wigs or buying your first wig or anything like that. So, you know, just some slight, not too much. We're just having a little girl talk. But yeah, so if you guys are interested in that, definitely keep watching. Like this video if you like this video. Comment below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, y'all, so I already did my ball cap. And this is the wig that I'm going to be installing. Period, period, period. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on. This should be a quick install because I already, like, customized the wig and did my ball cap. So, yeah. So, I'm going to just talk a little bit about, like, what to look for. You know, like, when you're getting your first wig, it's just like a guide to, like, buying your first wig. Ooh, this is, I could already tell. We finna be, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is gonna look so cute. So obviously this is like a wig that I would recommend when you're first buying a wig and I'm gonna get into a couple of reasons why I think that. This is an Amazon wig. Y'all know I love me Amazon wig. I be putting y'all on to Amazon wigs. So yeah, when you buy your first wig, one of the first kind of like tips that I would give is to Number one, make sure you get all of the products you need to install a wig. I actually did a whole separate video on that. So if you want to see that video, I will link it above. It'll either be in this corner or this corner. I don't really know which one, but it'll be linked above so that you can just know everything you need to buy in order to like install your wig the right way. Okay? Um, not the right way, but just the way I do it that works for me. And that's definitely number one when it comes to buying your first wig. Now, next. I personally, now this is all suggestions. You know, what worked for me. This isn't what you have to do, but this is just, you know, what worked for me. Let me make sure this is, I just wanna make sure the lace is like sitting where I want it to sit before I start putting glue. I'm going to New Orleans this weekend for, um, to support my cousin. He is in the HBC Legacy Bowl. I don't really know anything about sports, but apparently that's like a big deal. So me and my cousins are going to go support him. I've actually never been to one of his football games, so I'm excited. Anyways, not the point. So by the way, I'm using Bold Hold, the pink label. Y'all know I always use this glue. But yeah, so when it comes to buying your first wig, one really important thing that I would recommend is to not go synthetic. I know that sounds, I know synthetic is like the, you know, the affordable, like real cheap, you know, but you can find wigs that are affordable on Amazon now they're not gonna be as affordable as a synthetic wig of course because it is human hair like this wig is human hair I'm gonna link this wig below by the way but one of the reasons why I would recommend this wig is like a first wig is because it is still human hair while having like a lower price like it's not gonna be as expensive as like a normal wig would be if that makes sense so for your first wig, I definitely would recommend like a lower price wig from somewhere like Amazon, you know, just so that you're not spending so much on like, you know, your first wig, first install. You know, you could, it's okay to like maybe, I mean, I don't want to say it's okay to mess up because you just really don't want to mess up. But like, it's just, at least you're not messing up on like a $600 wig, you know? The reason why I don't recommend synthetic is because... I just feel like you really have to be a pro to master synthetic hair. I definitely think it's possible to look bomb in synthetic hair. I've seen the girls doing it. Like, it's definitely a thing. But when it's your first wig, I do feel like you have to invest a little bit more in getting, like, a human hair wig just because synthetic is, like, advanced level. You feel me? Like, that's, like, for the girls who've been doing this. Like, <laughs> that's how I feel. That's just my opinion, you know? I think that human hair is just 100%. Like, it, it, it's human hair. So it acts like your hair. Like you can wash it, you can style it, you can dye it, you can do everything, and it's gonna act, it's gonna react how human hair would react, you know? So it's less of a shock to you. And when you're new, you wanna kinda like stay in your I wanna say stay in your lane, because that sounds rude, but like you you get you you get what I'm saying, you know? I'm doing three layers of this glue, by the way. And you wanna make sure that your glue gets like clear because if it's fine. It's just gonna get messed up whenever it's time to lay your lace down. So this is my second layer, and I'm just gonna speed through this real quick. Yeah, 
the field, man, but maybe down the road. Right now, I'd rather see my heart turn to chrome. Rather see my heart turn crystal. I can't even find a guy on mission. Right now, I'm just stuck inside a crib on my own. Soon as I freak up, I'm about to pop up on your phone. Like, I'm outside in an AMG. Right outside. Baby girl, you know me Who am I? All the niggas around me Right at it, die Gotta watch your time Cause it's flying right by Two turn, baby girl, you know me Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the lace forward And comb it into The glue I don't know why I just like lost my whole train of thought I always keep a comb nearby because ain't nobody trying to be putting around looking for one and holding this lace on my head. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just tying this elastic band around just to like hold it down and I'm gonna leave that for like a couple minutes. And then we're gonna get like right back into what we was talking about. My bad. I need to make sure this wig is laid because I'm gonna be in New Orleans and I feel like it's gonna be hot. So I just need to make sure everything is right. And I even did four layers of glue instead of three layers of glue just for good luck. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and we're gonna start to cut the lace. But anyways, back to what I was talking about. Um, so yeah, another thing that I would kind of like recommend for your first wig is make sure it says like pre-plucked or something just because it makes it easier on you when you're customizing the wig if the wig is already pre-plucked now i will say you are still i mean you don't have to but me personally i still pluck my wigs even if they are pre-plucked because i just feel like they never pluck it to my liking but when they're pre-plucked it does make it a lot easier because it's already like they kind of already started the process for you so i would definitely recommend getting a wig that says that is pre-plucked and another thing that is like super super important is that it says hd lace which this wig on amazon does say that it has hd lace now i will say that even if it does say like hd lace the lace is always like gonna be different but nine times out of ten if you're ordering a wig that says hd lace it's better than like other wigs that don't say HD lace. So, just again, these are all just my opinions and kind of like what works for me when I'm ordering wigs. I don't always follow every single rule that I'm giving you guys. What is going on right here? I don't even understand what I just did. Just cut this off. Um, but yeah, I don't always follow like every single rule that I'm giving y'all, but like for the most part, when it's your very first wig, these are kind of like just important things to look out for. I'm gonna finish cutting my lace because obviously I can't talk and do this at the same time. Okay, so I finished cutting my lace and now I'm gonna part my hair. Yeah, so if you're getting your first wig or like installing your first wig, me personally, I would go for like a 13 by six just because of like the deeper parts, the more freedom that you have. Um, and I think it looks more natural. And I think when you're getting your first wig, um, just to like decrease the shock value, <laughs> you should get a wig that looks like, you know, the most natural. 13 by four is cool though. That's like the standard wig. So it really doesn't matter. You could do 13 by four or 13 by six, but me personally, I love it 13 by 6. My part isn't straight yet, but like look how far back it goes. Like, just like if you was parting your real hair, you know? I'm gonna just hot comb this down. It might not be like the middle yet, but I need it to like lay down so I can see what I'm doing. Matter of fact, I'm about to use this wax stick. This is the She Is Bomb wax stick. It's the same wax stick I use in literally all my videos. I don't know why I didn't know the name of it. <laughs> Definitely need a wax stick and a hot comb. I feel like if you don't, if you have a wig and you don't have a wax stick and a hot comb, you need to just wait until you get a wax stick and a hot comb, cause yeah, makes a huge difference. Okay, so now I'm gonna do some baby hairs. I definitely would recommend getting like a natural colored wig for your first wig, just because, you know, like something that's similar to like the color of your natural hair. My natural hair is close to this color, so. I don't know, I don't like to do, I don't like to do too many like new things at once. Maybe you're different than I am, but me personally, like I find that when I try to do too many new things at once, it just doesn't come out the way I want. And it just, I don't know, it's just, it just could be too much, you know? So I would definitely go for like a natural, uh, one that says like a natural, 
natural colored usually they do say like natural colored I don't know if this one said that but obviously you could see that it's like a natural hair color and you definitely want to get a wig that's like very easy to maintain that's why I did mention earlier like you know getting a human hair wig because human hair is just way easier to maintain like also if it's an option I would definitely pay attention to like the cap size on your wig it's not always an option but if it is an option I'll pay attention to the cap size me personally I have a lot of natural hair if you've seen my natural hair videos you know what my natural hair looks like and then I just have like really big hair um so I prefer a medium cap size just so that you know my hair got room underneath <laughs> the wig cap also I would rather for my wig to be like too big than too small if it's too small it's, that's a nightmare like like it's it's just way harder to like get the lace to like do what you want to like it's just miserable having a wig that's too small is literally the worst also make sure you like look at the reviews of whatever wig that's another reason why i recommend like getting a wig off your first wig off amazon because you could literally see like what other people said about it honestly i, I don't recommend looking at the pictures because i feel like the pictures on amazon just always look a mess for the most part not always but a lot of times i look at amazon reviews it makes me not want the wig and it could actually really end up being a really nice wig so i don't know i i, I personally wouldn't look at the i personally wouldn't look at the picture reviews but Definitely like read the written reviews, see if people say like, you know, if the hair is soft or how they feel about the lace and so on and so on. Another thing I would always recommend, oh shoot, I'm doing this the wrong way. Another thing I would always recommend is just watch a lot of YouTube videos, watch a lot of TikTok videos. I have a lot of YouTube videos on like how to install your wig. I can link a more detailed one in the description and also like above in the top one of these top corners. And just practice, 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 practice. Because it's not, it might not be perfect for your first install buying your first wig. Did I just lock this thing? How do I, why, why won't it open? Okay. Um, but yeah, my first wig definitely was not perfect. Be very patient. I would just say do your research and be very patient. Try out like a simple style, kind of like how I'm doing now. Just like a simple like bust down middle part, you know? And just really try to get the hang of like mastering your installs. Cause a good install is the base of like every good hairstyle. <laughs> Let me just finish my baby hairs real quick. I really like this wig by the way. This was very easy to flat iron. This is probably like the best straight hair that I've gotten off Amazon. Actually, it's definitely the best straight hair I've gotten off Amazon. Like all the other wigs, I usually don't order straight. I usually order body wave. So this hair, I'm pretty sure it was body wave, but it's definitely, oh, uh, this one is straight. So that makes sense why it would be more, it's just like silkier. Like it's just, like it just feels really good. <laughs> I'm just trying to like finish my baby hair. And then we basically gonna be done with this wig. But yeah, my last tip would just be don't overthink it. Honestly, a lot of these wigs are the same are the same anyway. <laughs> like to be completely honest. So yeah, when it comes to your first wig, just don't overthink it and you'll be fine. But as you can see, I definitely would recommend this wig because it's just so it just feels so good, like, period. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I'm done with my install. This is how the wig came out. She came out real cute. I just did, like, a simple bust-down middle part. I wanted to keep it simple while I just kind of, like, talk to y'all about, you know, just, like, what to look for, what to do when you're getting your first wig. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. It's really not much, like, it's really just kind of, like, paying attention to what kind of wig you want to get and just really executing it, to be honest. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't overthink it. I know wigs can be really overwhelming but they don't have to be so yeah that's my advice of course you guys can do whatever you know you feel comfortable with but these are the things that kind of help me get comfortable with like applying wigs so i just want to kind of like share those little tips with you guys but this wig came out real cute okay real quick i'm gonna give you guys the info on this hair so i did purchase this wig from amazon definitely first wig material it's a 13 by 6 that's why the part go all the way back here instead of like stopping right here you know Two, two more inches apart, okay? Love it, love it here. This human hair, which like I said, I 100% recommend human hair if you're just getting into wigs. But you know, human hair at lower price points, we're not trying to spend $600, $800 on a wig, you know? Like we wanna invest, but not break the bank, not do too much. So yeah, and then it's a straight HD lace front human hair wig, 180 density, and it is pre-plugged, even though I pluck it anyway. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much all of the specs on this hair. I'm gonna stand up real quick just to show y'all how long it is. Okay, so this is how long the hair is from the side. You can see it's definitely touching my butt, past my waist. But yeah, it's real long, okay? 
And this is what it looks like from the back. I don't know if y'all can see how long it is. Definitely here for this length. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like this video. If you like this video, comment below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ooh, I thought I was about to drop my hot comb on me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all I gotta say. So I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.